Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Why don't lift up your hands and worship you? From where our help come from? For all of my hair coming from the All of my head. All of my head coming from the Lord. All of our head. All of my head Can I be? Oh, All of my yeah. Oh, Shall be left song this morning I'm interpreting the heartbeat of somebody I'm raising an alarm in the spirit for somebody now can do like a heart oh yeah help Lord ah. oh
send in a message in the waves and the uh, time now you will know said the spirit of God that I'm your helper for I will help you 
Thank you, Lord. You may Akada Bagada. From now, when they tell you to won't be done, tell them that's not true. You may be seated in God's holy presence. Thank you, guys. Awesome, awesome work. Awesome work. of God in a time like this you tread it softly so but the spirit of God we do what he intends to do Hallelujah. Oof. Hallelujah, somebody. I think we have the we have you know when Between Friday and now, all I want to do is to take a place and stand our ground to betray, intercede, interfere. In some issues and affairs of man. There's a question that I have ever asked in my worship, my walk with God. Why this? Why that? And I don't ask like I'm doubting. I'm asking like a child who wants to know. I know you can do all things. And there is nothing too hard for you. I stand to declare I have seen you do the incredible. And I've heard of you, just like Gideon heard of you. And proclaim it in the realm of the spirit. There is nothing you did not put into being. For you are the creator of heaven and earth. There is no power that supersedes your power, oh God. And all things are under the regiment of your authority. Therefore, I know you are more than able. But in my walk of faith, help me. Why this? Why that? This morning, one of us did this cause, the acceptable Thanksgiving. Acceptable Thanksgiving, child.
You know, everything that I've been happening recently is gearing towards something that I've been trying to find out, deal with, talk about, and everything. I think the Church of Jesus Christ needs to get back into the shutting place. Yeah. Until power is generated again. We have lost grounds. The power has to return to the church so we can avert some insult in the body of Christ. See, when believers gather to worship, the earth shakes. The elements of the system are in this array because God has come to dance with his people. As this is going on, if, if faith, understanding, inclination is not released into this gathering, we leave the same not understanding that it is impossible for God to come without a miracle. Yeah. And I found out he could not do no mighty works because he found unbelief and there said few that were healed of headache. Ah, la tu si la mudiaka. Ah, kodaba. The miraculous has to. By fire, by force. Return to the church. Brother Hagen prophesied before he died that there is a wave of the spirit that is coming but if it is not caught it will go and if we leave the church will be left literally barren recycling old messages and tactics we ought to come in here in the next 30 an hour be swimming in the ocean of healing and miracles happening the set the same way, the same mindset that you have when you see your doctor or your specialist. It's the same mindset, a greater one when you enter the sanctuary. Because in his presence is not joy, the fullness. The fullness. Everything that produces joy has to come in his presence. And the right hand, there are consistent pleasure. Not one step forward or two steps backward. No. Consistent pleasure. And the children of God, it's time for us to wake up and say, why this, why that? We know we serve a living God. Can we look at the scripture this morning? Yes, sir. I won't take your time. Oh, yeah. and I'm trailing with care in case there's a seat. I'm still ready for a seat. This suit will be off my body right away. Yes, yeah. <laughs> there's a seat. Yeah. But look at this song. The book of Psalm, chapter 124. Let's, let's look at it. it. It says something. It says something. It says something. I need you to look at it with zeal. From verse 1. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side. Now, may Israel, now may the church, may the city of David Tabernacle say, if he had not been the Lord who was on our side. 
when men rose up against us when they have stayed then if it's not the law if if the lord has not been there then they have swallowed us up quickly when their wrath was kindled against us when they were going from one witch doctor and then calling your name when they were taking your picture and making some declaration the jealous the wicked the people coming wishing everything but if it has not been the lord has spread his wings when their wrath was kindled against them the waters had overwhelmed us the stream had gone over our soul this year I don't know about you been through some waters yes, sir. been through some storms been through some uncomfortable situations and conditions unexplainable situation but if it had not been the law then the proud waters had gone over our soul god forbid yeah. blessed be the god who had not given us as a prey to their teeth you. you better shout i'm not a prey and you will never be a prey to the adversary Our soul escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken and we have escaped. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made the heaven and the earth. Psalm 107, 21 and 22. 107, 21 and 22. Oh, that man will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. And let them sacrifice the sacrifice of thanksgiving and declare his works. We rejoice in the church. We say, Amen. you may be seated. Twenty twenty one, twenty twenty three. I had a diagnostics from my doctor that he has to send me to a specialist after the trauma and experiences of leaving my brother go through the system and then went on to build with the Lord. Little did I know about the impact that it had on my body. So when the specialist saw me, he was in confusion. How are you still living? He said, after escaping three heart attacks and one is major. Did I feel it? Maybe or maybe not was put on stress test. You medical people, you know what it is. Put on every kind of thing. It took four hours of every kind of test. Sent home, put on every kind of medication. And the blood pressure will not go down. It was systematic. 2021, 2022. Towards the end of 2022, Things became a little bit normal and I was discharged. And then went through 22, just then decided to step in in another form to believe God. Every kind of medication, 
He called me again. Hey, come here. What happened to your brother is happening to you. I mean, sometimes they talk stupidly. You need to meet me, see me immediately I came. He said, your sugar, your everything. And after talking, I could not remember all that I said and all that I did not say. But I went home. All prescriptions were written and given. After a while, I drew a line. Yeah. If you can do it, Abba Father, no one can do it. Yeah. In 2023, to cut the story short, after all series, I went back for my physical in 2023, after the birthday, October 2023, last year. And then he Toro check and at the same time I decided to modify my diet and some things, drop some weight pretty much you know, drop some weight you know, so in that, it went for the physical 2023 and after that he said, okay the sugar is fine, this one is fine this one is fine, this one is fine, but everything you do, keep taking your medication doing this thing and all these things I look at it I didn't see him again, have no reason to see him, to 2024. Because I have to do annual. We went again. He went through everything. Man side, general side, everything. And his face turned. Are you telling me that you're so alright that you have not seen me throughout a whole year? I said, what did you see? You checked everything. I said, I have no reason to see your doctor. I'm only coming to check so I will know what I'm up against yeah. to put them into rest. Amen. His face was not good. <laughs> To worsen the situation, the insurance sent me a check. For, I don't know what it is, unused medical, they say, maybe they put something that says you didn't use it, you didn't see the doctor, nothing, no hospitalization, nothing. So they sent a check. I said, Mama, we're receiving a check for being healthy. <laughs> What am I saying? If not God, I say, Malia to Badia, I read in your word that you heal and you're a healer. You also keep us healthy. It's not that symptoms doesn't come. Symptoms will always poke up your head. But you repeat what you normally do. And tell them to rest. Since of God, I found that there's nothing we trust God for. When we believe God and make Him the center of everything, if you can't do it, nobody else will do it. Yeah. I hand them over to you, I relinquish. Because I found one thing. The more you push for your need to be met and praying, and there's a delay, you start developing attitude towards God. Jesus. And that attitude towards God is out of faith. The things you're asking for began to move backwards. Every moment you have to be thinking and acting as though you have it. If he has not been the Lord, it's not if there been our prayer, this thing, network, or this. If he has not been God. Says of God. This week, America, our forefathers, the forefathers, forefathers of America put aside a day. A day. No work, nothing. 
everyone gather around with your families and begin to thank God who has been on your side for an entire year. Rejoice with your family, with your friends. Eat, drink, rehearse God's goodness within yourselves. Talk about it. What an idea. It must come from the Lord. Tell them if this is what you do in this season, in this time. Then we as believers rejoicing on these have two types of thanksgiving. But the physical and the spiritual. On that day while I'm thanking him for the physical, I thank him for the spiritual. If he has not been for the Lord. Yeah. Who saved me? I could have been on my way to hell. Huh. But he changed the course of my life. He redeemed me from the course of the law. And plunged me into the blessings of Abraham. Can I hear amen for that? Amen. He brought us out of darkness into his marvelous light. It's something to thank him about. Thank him for the Holy Ghost. Now you are no more ordinary person. You are extraordinary. For the blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Thank him because of his protection and provision. Let me borrow Marachi's word. Thank him because we are a testament to his goodness. <laughs> if you want to see God's goodness. We are the testament Amen. of it. Did we have midnight tears? Yes, we did. But the day came. Stories change. Have you ever sat down and said, how did I come out of this? How did I finish this? How did I go through this? How, 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 how? I can't even imagine. But this is me. That sometimes some of us, if you share with somebody what you've been through, what, what has happened, but the way you look, they will not believe you. Because you don't look like what you've been through. You look like the goodness of God. We worship him. Drop down our differences. Yeah. Look at your brother, your sister. I thank God you're here. Amen. Thank God. Thank God you're here. Amen. We're worshiping together. We're fellowshipping together. Halabagadia. Judge us. See, see, see. Thank, thank, thank God we're here. We're yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. You may not like me. I may not like you, but God placed us together. Yeah. The earlier we get it together, the better it is. Amen. We thank God for our families. Because Psalm 68 says he's a, he put solitary. He put distinctions and demarcations in families. Yours and mine might not be the same. But you're enjoying yours. And I'm enjoying mine. Come on, daddy. These are all God's goodness. These are the purposes why we keep things spiritual, natural. See, people who are looking at problem don't see future. The root of depression is when somebody could not see the future of what God is doing and they are focused on what the enemy is doing. They start getting depressed. Yeah. They start getting depressed. Why the Lord said in the book of Nehemiah, 14, he say, this is not a day to share bad news. But it's a day to share blessings with one another. Because the joy of the Lord is our strength. In rejoicing, 
tell me something the Lord is doing, I will jump and rejoice with you. It's in this trend we move further. Thank God for safety. Some of you drove miles here and there. No crash, you're still here. Alive and well. And this year alone, I've been to four nations. Amen. Accumulated two months of hours in the air. And a lot of us have traveled up and down. Take off and come down. Says so of God, when that door of that plane is closed, yeah. it's only the Lord. Amen. Amen. It's only the Lord. The flying and the taking down. Made by man, it's only the law. The says of God in this week, God, God has given us a day we have chosen as a family to thank God, isn't it? Come with what thanksgiving. Do you know what it means? I want to show you something. Thanksgiving is of faith. And faith is of spiritual. Do you know what it means to somebody to be somebody who is spiritually grown, spiritually matured? Is somebody who is growing in faith. Somebody who understands God to trust him. Spiritual growth is knowing God and letting his word control and rule our lives. That's growth. That's the pathway to escape every situation and to receive blessing from the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. It, thanksgiving, spiritual growth is, means faith in action. Faith in action. The sense of God, that is what is called an acceptable praise that releases the miracle. The only prescribed way a man can please God is by faith. Is what? By faith. To believe and trust him. Says of God. Praying, singing, dancing in unbelief will not get the work done. It has to be by faith. The essence of dancing, I've said this before, I'm going to say it again. The when you are dancing, two people dancing, the essence of one dancing better than the other is that to the person they are dancing to. And what they are dancing to is the difference. What they are dancing to is a difference. When men and women are intoxicated in alcohol and drugs and on the stage, you see how they act and do any kind of thing. They don't care going naked because they are dancing to the spirit of Bacchus. To the path of destruction they are going. But when we dance to the God of God, the Lord of Lords, we dance knowing that after the dance, yes, there has to be a path on the back. No man, no woman has worshipped God truly without receiving. Well done. Some of us have just been worshipping and healing will be happening. Some people have come heavy, they live light. With burden in their life or sickness, they live healed. Because we are worshipping by faith. Knowing whom we worship. Jesus was telling that woman, you know not what you worship in the book of John chapter 4. You don't know what you are worshipping. Not who, what you worship. For if you want to worship God for real, it has to be by what? Spirit. And what? Truth. And faith for possibilities and to receive a blessing for worship, it has to come from instruction. Somebody say instructions. Instruction. I want to say something this morning, very, very important. And I, I, I believe, believe me, will. in the book of John, chapter 2, verse 5, listen to the word, the word of a mother. Help me out a little bit here. Listen to the word of a mother. 
a mother that I've known a son for 30 years. Are you listening to me? A mother that living with his son, they were living in his house for 30 years, came to a very dicey time. Some things were going wrong. And the mother told him, some things are going wrong. Yeah, you better do something about it. Because if the mother had no experience, she would not say it. And the son said, it's not yet my time. Why are you bothering me? And right away, look at what the mother did. Never talk to him again. Left him alone. The mother came to the disciples and said, whatever I ask you to do, do it. And walked away. That's what the mother said. I know my child. I know what he can do. His presence here means everything. Whatever he asks you to do what? Do it. And she walked away. Jesus came in there and said, how many pots do we have? Just fill it with water. No question, no argument. Because mama has already given instruction. Yes. Out of that simple instruction come one of the biggest miracles that the world is still talking about it today. Somebody say instruction. Instructions. Do you know the problem? The problem we the body of Christ has. Sometimes it looked at the enemy seem to be winning or pushing or holding what belongs to us. He doesn't win. Can never win. We are winners. But why he holding what belongs to us is this. In the demonic world, in this demonic realm, they operate by, div by super instructions. When the demon is on assignment, he doesn't change the assignment. Whatever he's asked to do is what he does or she does, whatever they do. It doesn't change if they are asked to deal with someone, I was talking about this on Friday. They take their time to study the person. They watch their weak point and their strength. They make everything to make sure they fulfill the assignment that are given to them. And they stay instant and at the point of striking the strike. Sometimes the Bible says that a serpent does not bite except it hisses. Sometimes the satanic world, before they strike a believer, the first of all, Start weakening your prayer life, your praise life. Start putting doubt, fear, concern, pride, everything. So that when destruction comes, the believer will not have to that instruction. And at the point of disobedience, they are ready to act. That's why I'm in believers, only few that are stay with instructions they keep proceed they, they keep prospering nothing else if you are willing can you move stop area and obedient to instruction you will eat what the good of the life nothing else hear me hear me hear me hear me mary said whatever i asked to do too jehoshaphat was in trouble they fasted and prayed the prophet of God say, now hear me, hear me Jehoshaphat, hear me Israel. This battle is not yours. You are afraid of a battle that does not belong to you. I'm talking to you church. The battle what you're facing, what you're facing in your father's house, they are not your battle because you're of the Lord. Amen. They will only be your battle when you defy divine instruction. And he told Jehoshaphat, I'm going to give you a song. In the morning, gather the singers. Who goes to war with singers? Ah. Gather the instrumentalists. How can you? The people will hear the sound and actually come to beat us. The divine instruction. Go with the sound. When they release the worship, there was no battle no knife no bullet no javelin no protection nothing just keep worshiping then the lord entered in the midst of the worship because now man has given him permission to do something
am I talking to you? Inside that worship, war broke loose. They were gathering the spoil for three days. Every Israel moved from poverty to prosperity in the twinkle of an eye. May that be your portion in the name of Jesus. Saints of God, and he chose a song for them to sing. For the Lord is good and his mercy endure her forever. Stay with that. As they began to worship, the Lord moved. When Paul and Silas were in prison, they prayed and prayed. And they didn't do it. They remembered what Jesus did. When Jesus was about to go to Gethsemane, to pay the price. The Bible says after communion. For the first time in the life of Jesus. He sang a song. He released a hymn to the father. And with that hymn. Every other thing was a history. Says of God. When Paul began to sing. The mighty in battle stepped in. Yeah. And the place was shaken. They had the reason to murmur because they were beaten and stuck in the quadruple of the, of the prison. The fourth dimension that nobody comes out from. Everything fell, their shackles fell off and they came out to carry on the assignment. May I say something to you? When you're on the Lord's assignment, don't be afraid. Yeah. Did you hear what I say? One with God yeah. is greater than all. Amen. Just with him. Yes, sir. Be, 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 be. Look at this. Look at this. Whenever a process of time comes, that is when a man and a woman whose heart is towards God comes in place. As we come for Thanksgiving, please, 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 freeze your mind. Pray, ask your family. Stay with your family. Ask the Lord, what do we bring unto you as our offering, Lord, for what you have done for us? Because at the end of such season, God makes the decision for the next season. I'm going to show you now. Because sometimes the church has been so Walking in deception that when the truth comes, we are not listening to divine instruction. I wanted to look at this. Everybody, watch, look, watch, watch this. Watch this. Genesis chapter 4, 3 to 7. Watch this. Acceptable thanksgiving. And in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought up the fruit of the ground and offering unto the Lord. And Abel he also brought of the firstlings of the flock and of the fat thereof. Look at, and the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. May that be your portion. Amen. What happened? The Lord did what? Had respect. But unto Cain and his offering, he had no respect. No respect. And Cain was very right and his countenance fell. That's what sometimes when believers struggle, they see things happen. Instead of going to the Lord, they get angry and get upset. Talk to the Lord. When we don't receive, don't fight God. Ask him, why this? Why that? I know you can do all things. Why this? Why that? Show me. Verse 6 says, And the Lord said unto Cain, Why are you angry? And why is your countenance fallen? If you do it well, shall you not be accepted? Oh my God. And if you do it not well, sin lieth at the door. And unto thee shall he desire. And thou shalt rule over him. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? The Bible says, 
Look at that word. I don't want to speak on that. This is another class altogether. He said, why are you angry? Because you're not accepted. He says, sin lieth at the door. Why did God call his anger sin? God called his anger sin. And so, the only thing that he required for Cain that time was punishment. The Bible says, be angry, but sin not. So, because anger and sin are very close. The reason for the angry, for the anger, is where the sin comes in. Why are you angry? If you have done well. So, if something doesn't happen, instead of wallowing in anger, I go back to the Lord. Why this? Why that? Did you understand? Because the devil works with that unbelievers so much. And keep us in that place. It, it, our heart is right. We love the Lord. But well, let's, 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 let's be real. Let's be real. Because if if, can, I can be very honest with you. You can't beat God out. You can only submit to him. When we submit, we resist the devil. Are you listening to me? But what I wanted to show you in this place is in the process of time. The word process of time means yomi. In Greek word, in Hebrew word, Yome means at the end of a season, at the end of a timetable, at the end of a prescribed time, the Lord will call His people and say, "Bring me this." You watch at the process of time. God said to Abraham, "Abraham, you've been sacrificing. Abraham, you've been doing. But now, can I have your only son?" God was not looking at Isaac. He was looking at his heart. Why was Cain's offering rejected? Cain gave out of obligation. But Abel gave by faith. Amen. Giving by obligation will never bless you. You are not obligated to do nothing. Which is your heart. <laughs> you see, because sometimes when you're talking about giving to the Lord, we do it out of, you know, I, I'm asked to, I have to do, I have to. No, you don't have to. But may I submit to you, when you don't give, you don't receive. The word of God cannot be beaten. Yes, sir. If you call it transactional gospel, it, gospel is transactional now. Yeah. Faith is the currency for the transaction. Is our currency of transaction is by faith. Is see, we tell God how to treat us, not God desire. It's not his desire. His desire is to bless us. But we tell him time and how to because of our heart towards him. I want, I want to help you. I want to help you. Because when it's time for thanksgiving. I was preaching this message years back. Why, why years back? Back in Nigeria to a church. And while I was ministering, the pastor's wife left. Something hit her. She just left the church. Went out. By the time, the, after the message, they were giving, bringing their offerings and loving it because back home, you know, you bring livestock, Food, bags of Gary plantain, rice, everything is there at the place. And then, you know, so she came back with a live cow. Clothes every morning she had. And her husband saw her bringing a cow. And he noticed, she asked at the house, she said, she said, this land near the church, we've been praying for three years. Nothing has happened. Are you not tired of praying and asking God? 
Didn't you hear what he said? That God makes the decision. I want God to make the next decision for us who own that land. The next year, they bought the land, bought the other one. Amen. Where their church now seated about 8,000 membership. They built a place, a big sanctuary. That place, it was like a place like this. She, she, see, sometimes it's one word. When it hits you, you open the fountain of heaven right there. Till today, it's a testimony to her. To hear instruction. You say, when you are praying and waiting, the year is ending. The next year is coming. What has happened? Lord, how do I approach your thanksgiving? So that next year, I will be, oh Lord Jesus, I won't be telling others testimony. Right. Others will be telling my testimony. Because, you see what happens? We've been programmed in deception so that the devil keep on having his way in the church. You see what happened? In that Thanksgiving, that day, and after all, we just put our hands and put something in the pocket, put an envelope, he, he. and God is saying, is that all I have done for you? All through the year. I've delivered you. I set you free. And the, is that all you we are bringing to a high God? Says of God, I want us to understand something about God. For those who say that you don't have to give to receive, then why haven't we been receiving? Check the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. When God wants to bless somebody, he makes a demand on them. Yeah. It's on that obedience. Even men and women of God, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Isaac. Isaac, their father, could have called the children and said, come, let me bless you guys. He said, Esau, go get me something, your best food to eat that I will bless you. Can you imagine? And likewise, Jacob, when he landed in Egypt, Joseph hosted him in the presidential palace. And after eating, do you know what he said? He said, give me your children that I will bless them. He crossed his hand according to their heart. Manasseh and Ephraim. Manasseh and Ephraim. Dominion and prosperity. Manasseh, dominion, Ephraim, prosperity. Watch this. Go to Genesis chapter 7. When the tribes of Israel are named, the last tribe of Israel, Ephraim is missing. Manasseh is there. Why? His prosperity took him away and his entire family was wiped out. There's no more generation of Ephraim, but the generation of Manasseh. Your heart, dominion, yeah. the next phase. If your eyes are open to see the level of wealth over your life, how do I? That's why I say, why this? Why that? You come to understand that if the law doesn't do it, I am a man. Who have walked with the high and the lows. If the Lord hasn't released it, political powers won't do it. Political powers won't do it. There's some things I don't even have. I can't share the pulpit. That I have seen. Men of power meet together, have a business, talk together. I mean, leaders, work leaders, talk. And after talking, one walk away and just close the door against the other. And I'm like, is it not this one who was begging before? And before you know it, they are choked again. They are coming back for another help. 
And you see, the politicians see what they do. When you do, they say, leave them alone. We know where to get them. And it's true, they are coming back to that place to close the door. I found out that if the Lord, the system is messed up. It's controlled by the system of the world and demonic world. But God knows how to cast a favor. Look at the word I use, cast a favor upon his children. That even where others failed, you just enter successfully. Amen. If you will hearken to the voice of the Lord. Instructions. My father, you have been so good to me. And there are yet territories to gain. What do I bring to you? To appreciate you for who you are. You are the soul, the center of my heart. I can't do anything without you. Says of God, it's at that place when your heart starts desiring, God starts bringing you. Hear me, hear me, hear me. Somebody say time. time. Somebody say season. season. Whether you are here or not be here or wouldn't be here or don't be here or traveling or doing this thing, the time and the season has nothing to do where of your location. Because if this is a house you belong to, that day is your own time and season to bring the sacrifice and decision make. If the person is not there, it's not God's fault. We have to learn to operate the spirit realm. The spirit realm is being navigated through instructions and spiritual system, understanding what the Lord is saying and dealing with us. What happened? There are some people who left the upper room when the Holy Ghost came. The Lord did not meet them and give them Holy Ghost in their house. Did he? No. He gave it to the upper room. Until they found themselves back. And some could not fall back. Time and season is in God's hand. Next Sunday, I'm expecting a major decision to be made concerning your family. And I know one of the words that the Lord will speak is, is enough. Whatever be the bridge, whatever be the issue, is enough. Because he's stepping big. Amen. Amen. Look at the Lord's desire towards us. In Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 19 he said, And out of them, that's a, prophet, that's a prophetic declaration, And out of them, out of us, shall proceed what? Thanksgiving. And what? The voice of them that make merry. And after that, and after that, I will multiply my God. Something has just been released to somebody right now. And they shall not be few. He said, after that, I will glorify them and they shall not be small. Whatever has made that been making you look small in the eyes of many. After the voice of thanksgiving and Mary, you can't be small anymore. Because the glory of God will descend on you. Descend on your family. Descend on your business. Descend in the works of your hand. Multiplication is God's assignment. When the voice of thanksgiving and praise is released. I've had people come to me and say, when my business kicks off, we will do this ministry, we'll buy land, we'll do this. Says of God, those amazing desires that the Lord has put. The sense of God, it is you that spark the match. When you spark the match, the fire will start burning. That was a revelation that was shared here. When I was interceding for the church, I was at the throne. 
The Lord took me to the throne. All I was doing was intercession. All I was saying, they are your people. And that's how he gave me the message. Last Sunday, all I was doing, when the power was flowing in our worship, when I fell here on my face, I stood before the king, the throne. I, 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 I was before the throne. Like I was telling the woman, it's not something I want to share and release, but I will maybe very give a little summary. All I was saying, they are your people. Bless them. I saw men and women just ready to receive. But it looks like something is delayed. I was saying, my Lord, they are your people. Bless them. And that's why I've been praying. And then he told me that it's an acceptable praise. As soon as you, oh, Shando Alika, yeah. As soon as this acceptance is released, a major change will take place. You will see it in this place. And say, this man, you say, this God has done it again and again and again. He that has ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Says of God, if need, Satan can strike a need that will dry your savings. It can strike a need that will cause you even to borrow money to pay. But when it comes to sitting with the Lord and say, what do we do for you? Let me close with this. Sometimes we watch it as movie, but it's not movie, it's real. At the end of the year, in the court world, if their grandmaster says to them, I need the head of a woman and a man, they will go yeah. to make money. That's why you see ritual killings. Even in America, it was, one was busted the other day. Was it in Texas or so? We are children. We are pushed slavery for ritual killings. In Haiti, that's still happening. Taking children, missing everywhere for ritual. Why? Because the demonic world is telling them, but for you to win this election, for you to have this money, for this business, they need lives. They don't say no. And people know that. In Africa, you see that. In Nigeria, you see that every day. Politicians, when they are caught, they will tell them, politicians, say them. It's happening. And people know, but people are not questioning. Nobody's rioting and say, why are you doing this? Then whenever in the church giving, people rise. Why are you giving to the church? They, that's a host. They are deceiving you because the demons know what the power of giving can do to them. If he doesn't know, why is he demanding for souls? Why is he demanding for blood? So bless an ordinary man. Not to bless, to give an ordinary man. And then their soul is caged. Have you thought about it? But when it has to do with the Lord, you see everybody coming. They're coming to take your money. The tithe is not through. The offering, the pastor is trying to... The devil is stupid. But if he tells them, take a human being, they caught a human being, caught a woman pregnant, innocent children, are caught in pieces for money. They give it to idols. But when it's God, judgment is coming off all those ones deceiving the church as though giving is of the devil. They are stupid and stupid. Hear me clearly. When it's Thanksgiving time, do your best. Ask the Lord. Because after this, table changes Amen. multiplication increase glory will come Amen. you see what I say I will say it again your business has an EIA number isn't it yeah. put a sacrificial offering for your business Amen. so by next year it will explode Amen. in every area let's see what the Lord will do and I know in my knowing, yes, the Lord will do great things. Yes, the level of praise we offer, if we back it up with obedience, nothing can contain us. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Because we are coming, we're going to shatter ceilings. Amen. Shatter prison doors. Amen. With our praise, obedience, and our offering. Yeah. We are come to replace. We will come out. 
I said, death, where is your victory? Yeah. Poverty, do you still have any strength? We're in that place. That's a statement that is getting ready to come out on your behalf. Amen. God is about to do a statement on your behalf. Amen. Don't let the devil steal it. Amen. We are coming here next week yes, sir. with the abundance of the earth Amen. so that the heavens will release the abundance. Amen. It's a planned something. Amen. It's not something spontaneous. No, you plan it to ask the Lord. What do I do? How? How will I please you? If you want all, take all. Amen. You are by faith. If you want all, take all. Whatever you want. You are my servants. You are my orphans. And the Lord shall do great things. Stand up on your feet. I will bless the Lord. <laughs> oh, my soul. And all that is within me. Bless his holy. I have microphone. Pick up your own. Oh, no. I will bless the Lord. Watch, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. When David said, I will bless the Lord, my soul. My soul. He didn't say my spirit. He said what? My soul. My thinking faculty. My reasoning. Where is the seat of authority? Where the seat of battles of everyone? seat of obedience and disobedience we have been teaching you on separating bringing your spirit and soul bless the lord my soul my thought my ideas my reasoning and all that is within me we say bless Yeah.
bless him when you're singing again sing as i taught you why not remember what he has done what he has done for you your family in your life what is done and think about what he's going to do combine the thoughts together and lift up a praise ah, and you will experience a touch of the lord this morning hallelujah